Hi, I'm Christian Reddit. I'm the Technical Operations Manager for Lumashore USA. The beam angle is the angle of the light as it's projected into the water behind the boat. It could be narrow, wide, or ultra-wide. An example of this would be the narrow beam of a spotlight versus a broad beam of a floodlight. And it's important because it affects the way the light looks behind the boat. Most people prefer a continuous pool of light around the boat. This is known as a halo effect or swimming pool effect. If you use underwater lights with too narrow of a beam, you'll have gaps between the light. So in order to achieve the continuous pool, a Lumishore light with a wide or ultra wide beam is needed. Some companies offer narrow pencil beams while others offer shallow, wide letterbox beams which illuminate only the surface part of the water. Lumishore offers a wide circular beam for the ultimate light penetration. This illuminates the water away from the boat as well as illuminating the depth of water beneath the boat. This allows you to see the sea floor and any rocks or reefs or fish beneath the boat. Water is an excellent light guide. When the light hits the surface of the water, it's reflected back into the water. So you can see that below the water, the swimmer is lit up and above the water, the swimmer is still in darkness. A common question we get is how far the underwater lights will penetrate into the water. That depends entirely upon water quality and water clarity. One thing that's always true, however, is that the brighter the underwater light, the further it will project from the boat. Lumashore manufactures the brightest underwater lights. To summarize, a wide or ultra-wide beam pattern is best. Each Lumashore light installed will illuminate more water at a greater depth and saturation. This is because of the wide or ultra-wide beam pattern, as well as a high light output.